G'day there and welcome to this lesson. Now, everybody wants SharePoint to not look like SharePoint. Put your own uh, spin on it. Go grab your company themes and colors and fonts and really make it your own. Now, that's what we're going to be focus on, focusing on in this lesson and that is the SharePoint Brand Center. And it's going to give you the capabilities to bring your own fonts and create your own themes and all of that stuff that is going to help uh, facilitate making SharePoint your own and fit your company brand. First things first, let's set up the brand center in the admin center. Now this does require global admin access, but it is required obviously uh, to start to use the brand center. Now you can see that I'm in the, uh, the admin center here. Uh, so if you don't have global admin access, you're going to need to um, collaborate with somebody that does have a global admin access to be able to do this. Now, underneath the settings blade here, under org settings, we've got this option for brand center. So when we open up the brand center, if it's not already uh, created, you'll be presented with something like this. So we can see that we can brand this uh, or give this brand center a name because of what it's actually doing is creating a SharePoint communication site uh, for this particular purpose. So you can see that we've got brand guide, we've got a site address, which is changeable, um, and it does require the use of what is called a public CDN. So we do need to agree to activate the public CDN here, and then we simply go ahead and create this site. Now there's a couple of things that are going on here. It's just a, uh, a stock standard SharePoint communication site, but there's a special uh, application that is also created when we do this process. So we can see here is the SharePoint site. So if I open that up into another tab, it's going to, going to look pretty familiar to you. It doesn't look like anything special. It's just a communication site, all right? But we also do have a Brand Center app and we can copy the link to this Brand Center app. And if I paste this up here like so, it's going to open up our app, all right? And you can see that we've got the URL uh, up the top there. Now, this is where we do all of our work, right? So we add our fonts, we add our colors, and we can apply our brand. First thing, let's go ahead and add some fonts. So we've got our fonts, we've downloaded it. Now, what you can also do, um, if I jump over to Google Fonts, we can grab what we might do is let's do that from scratch, right? So I'm just uh, doing a little bit on the fly here. So what we might do, let's just have, uh, if we go back, Let's have a look at um, what are we going to use. We will use, let's just choose Roboto here, okay? Um, and then we can get the font and we can download the font. So that's going to download from Google Fonts the Roboto font in a zip file. So I'm just going to unzip that and then we can actually just use that, all right? So I'm just going to extract all. Uh, it's going to pop it into a folder for me and then I'm just going to use. Actually, I'll use that and I've got a couple of other fonts on my PC here that we'll use. So if I go to add fonts, and again, this is going to look somewhat familiar. It's going to be, where this is a place, it looks like a document library really, doesn't it? So I'm going to just go and grab all of my Roboto fonts and I'm going to upload those into uh, the font library here. Now I'm actually going to also, I'm going to find some more fonts so that we've got uh, some different fonts that we can, uh, there we go, some different fonts that we can look at too. So I'm going to look at, I've got a, a Montague slab font as well. So I'm just gonna drag these across. So I'm uploading my fonts here, all right? But then to use these, we need to create what we call font packages. So I'll just wait for these to, to upload. So we can see that we've got our library of fonts. We're still uploading. Um, we can check the status of that, still uploading, and it looks like we're all good, all right? So now, if I hit the back button, you can see I've got some brand fonts. Now, I can also add some colors, some branding colors, right? So I can just click on add a color. Now, I'm just gonna grab my colors as well. So let me just jump over here, and I'm gonna pop in, I'll grab the hex code for a dark blue color um, and I'll copy that 
and I'll pop that in there and we'll give this, I'll just call this uh, dark blue. All right, so we'll make that visible. I've also got an orange that I'll use as well. All right, so I'll add another color and I'll go and I'll pop that in there. And then I will go uh, orange, okay? And we'll hit save. So now we've got two colors and some fonts. I'll jump back and now we can look at applying our brand across SharePoint and also Viva Connections, all right? So we can go and click and we can now create what we call a font package, right? So SharePoint branding, a font package, we can combine brand fonts into packages that define how the content appears inside of our SharePoint experiences, okay? Now, first thing, actually, what I'll do while, before we set all of this up, I'm just going to open up and let's grab the landing uh, site open up as well because that's the site we're going to use and we'll apply our branding to. So I'll jump back to the brand center and let's add a font package. So our display fonts. So these are the, the display fonts. They're used sparingly to emphasize important items. So we wanna choose a display font that uniquely represents our brand. So I might use, have a look at this display font here. In the content font, I'm going to use Roboto as my content font, okay? Now, I'm gonna click next. This is where we assign our fonts. So the title, let's choose title and headline. Body, we're going to use Roboto, right? So we'll choose a style, and I'm just gonna go fairly um, bold here. So headline will go semi-bold. Titles will go bold. The body, we're just going to go with uh, regular. Now, the interactive, so the interactive fonts used on items that trigger actions. So these are our buttons and things like that. So I'm just going to use Roboto for that. And again, I'm just going to, uh, let's use medium for our buttons, all right? So we'll click next. This is where we give our package a name, okay? So the name, let's just call this Copilot and SharePoint uh, as our font um, font packages, and it, it is visible. We've got a little bit of reminder here, and we'll hit our save button. All right, so now we've created our first font package. Now, if I jump over to the landing, I'm just going to hit the the refresh button here, uh, and I'm going to jump up to the top right hand corner, and let's go to change the look and I can now see a font option here. So we've got some available fonts that Microsoft do provide out of the box, right? So we can see that we've got a few different font packages, but you'll also now see that I've got my font package from my organization. That's the one we just created. So if I click that, we do get a preview of that font package on the site itself before we go ahead and uh, actually apply it. So you can see if I scroll down, we can see that we've got the fonts that have been changed, all right? So if I hit save, that's going to then apply that font package to that particular site. Not every site, but just that particular site, okay? So we can see that we've got uh, these fonts coming through. Now, I'll jump back to, to the brand center and we'll now go ahead and we'll create a theme. So I can add a theme. Now, this is not any coding, it's all web-based, and we can choose our primary colors and our text colors and everything like that. We do get a, um, a preview here also on the right-hand side. So if I choose my primary color, now you can see that I've uploaded and I've added those colors as the brand colors for the organization. So I can go the primary color of dark blue or I can go see the primary color of orange. The text color, uh, I can choose a text color and also a background color. Now you can see we do have an accessibility checker down here. Now we can still go ahead and create our themes, 
but just note that we do have that and it does give us some recommendations here uh, about the accessibility of our colors, right? So if I go back to dark blue, you can see that it's looking good and the color palette doesn't give any accessibility issues. So the background, I'm just gonna stay with that. Uh, and you can see that when I change the text to dark blue, it's uh, giving me an error as well, or not an error, but just, um, we might add black here as well. And let's have a look and see what happens when we add black. It's just giving us some recommendations, right? So we can see that we've got our color palette. It doesn't have any issues right now. Uh, the accent color, I'm going to choose orange as our accent color. Uh, and then let's just have a look while I'm here, actually. Let's just have a look at orange. So we can see that we do have this accessibility um, warning here. So each pair of colors should produce legible text and have a minimum contrast of 4.5. Now the non-accessible, uh, this is where it's picking it up, is that the primary color on the background color um, is giving us that warning, right? So it's the orange on the white. So I'm just going to, just for the sake of this, I'm just going to pop that and we'll click next, all right? Now we'll give this a name. So let's call this uh, Copilot and SharePoint theme. And we'll hit save, all right? So now we've got our theme all set up. And if we go to the landing now, this theme will then apply, well not apply, but it will be made available for site owners to be able to use that theme, right? So we've got, go to change the look, and then we go to theme, and there we've got what our selected theme is, and then we've also got the new theme from your organization, and I can hit save, and that's going to apply that theme to this site, right? I'm just gonna change the look again. We'll go to header, and you can see that that theme is reflected in the branding in the theme there as well. So I'll change that to dark, and you can see that those fonts have, have now been applied as well, right? So we've got our heading and our title fonts uh, all the way through our, and there's the there's the accent color. So we can see that we're starting to, to brand our, our site. Now, I'll just hit republish here as well. Now, the other thing or the, uh, the other thing that I want to, to make note of here is that we do have site specific branding. So what we're doing there is we're setting things up in the centralized brand center. So we can manage the fonts and the colors and the themes uh, at this level and push that out for everybody uh, to use to make sure that we are adhering to uh, any style guides or, or brand requirements or things like that but there is the option here for site branding, and this is relatively new. So we can create at the site level a different theme, right? And then also we can create our own font packages from, um, for this particular site, from the only from the available fonts though. So the display font, we might change this over. So if I go uh, display font and we'll go content font, we'll make that a little bit different, right? So we'll flick this across. Titles, we'll use Roboto and we'll go black. We'll just make this really, um, really strange, right? So it's probably not gonna be ideal, but it'll give us the eye, the, and we'll go that and we'll go light. Interactive, we'll choose Roboto and we'll go bold, we'll hit next. And let's go the landing, uh, font package, all right? And we'll hit save. So that's gonna create a font package just for this site. So if I now jump back to the landing, and this is the same thing with the theme, right? So if I jump back to the landing, we've got the font package that we uh, applied uh, from the tenant level. Now, if I go to uh, change the look, and I go to font and from the available fonts now, I've got from my organization, but I've also got a font package from this site. So if I change that over to the landing font package, that's going to be a little bit different. You can see that that's now changed and I hit save 
and then that font package is now applied, right? So we do have the central location at the brand center level where we can, uh, as an organization, create our themes, create our font packages for site owners to use, and site owners actually can uh, come in and use this, this new site branding feature as well, all right? Um, the other thing that you may have noticed there in our site branding, now if I, let me open up uh, another SharePoint site. So I'm going to open up, let's go for global sales, right? So we'll go for global sales. Now I'm going to go again into site branding. Now what we'll do first actually is let's apply the theme, get rid of this green theme and we'll apply the centrally created theme that we just did before, all right? So it'll give us that company branding. So we'll go to change the look, we'll go to theme, we'll go to our theme there and that's now changed, which is good. Now, what we can do is we can actually copy font packages and themes, or we can create our own themes, but we can actually copy our Con our, our themes and our packages from other sites, right? So what we can do here is I can choose a site to copy from. So if I go the landing, that'll pick up the landing. There's the site and you can see here, I wanna copy the theme and the font package. I don't wanna copy the theme because we've just applied that. But if that uh, if that theme was, was something different, but I wanna use this font package, right? So uh, I'm gonna say global sales, uh, font package like this and we'll go save a copy so that's now saving uh, and that's just at this site branding level right so if I go back to the global sales we've got our theme coming from the brand center that's been created and centrally distributed and if I now go to change the look and I go to font what we'll see is I've got from this site and I've got from this organization. So again, I've got a font package that I've actually copied from another site, but I've made that available in the, at the site level here. So I've just applied that. And now what we've got is our font pack at this site, all right? So there we go. The SharePoint Brand Center, and also we've got this new site branding feature as well uh, that does allow us to create some themes, some font packages, bring your own fonts, upload your fonts, create your font packages, stay on brand, um, both at the, the tenant level, but also at your site collection level as well.